Hey everybody, I'm Sean Henry from Pepperland Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Search Console to optimize your content so that you can improve your rankings and increase traffic to your website. Google Search Console is a free tool that gives you an inside view as to what Google thinks about your, your website. It shows you how your content is performing in search results, what keywords you're ranking for, and a long list of issues that Google's encountered as it tried to crawl, render, and index your site. Now these are issues that you're going to want to pay attention to because these are things that are potentially preventing your site from ranking in search engines in the first place. And cleaning these up and improving them over time should really move the needle on how much traffic you're seeing to your site. Now, first things first, if you haven't already claimed your website in Google Search Console, you're going to want to start there. Uh, doing this is, is very easy, but something that you need to remember is that you need to verify each variation of your website. Now, when I say variation, what I mean is HTTP versus HTTPS, or the WWW version versus the non-WW version. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of webmasters don't think to do that, and they only claim a single version. Um, but Google treats each of these variations as separate versions of your website, so you need to make sure that you have access to each of those. Now, once you've gone through the process of verifying, it's going to take a few days before Google starts to show you any data, but once it does, they'll usually email you a quick notification. You're going to want to log in there and take a look, and when you uh, log into Search Console, you're going to see three main areas. There's the performance reports, index coverage, and enhancements. I'm going to walk through each one of these, and the first is the performance report. Now, this is probably the, the area that most people get excited about because it shows you exactly what keywords your website is ranking for. Um, so I can see this website is getting a lot of traffic for the keyword things to do in CT this weekend and showing me how many clicks and how many impressions. A click means somebody actually clicked on the search result. The impression means your listing appeared, but maybe the person didn't necessarily click on it and showing me how we've trended over time. Um, and one of the really cool things about the new Search Console that I really love is that you can see um, up to, I believe, 12 months of data, potentially a little bit longer, and you could compare different time frames so you could see how things have uh, fluctuated. Something I love doing is going into the filter and restricting it to just the last seven days because I like to look at this data on a weekly basis. So if I change this time frame, Now I'm only seeing a seven day window, so I could see that this website had 1.1 thousand clicks, but 21,000 impressions, and that gave us an average click through rate of 5.6%. Our average position in search results was 16.3, and I could see how that's trended over the past few days. But if I wanna get a week over week view, I can go back into this date area, switch this over to compare, and I'm gonna select compare last seven days to previous period. You can see you could really do any custom time frame that you want, but I really like this seven day stretch because I can see how things are, are fluctuating on a pretty granular level. And now I can see that um, it looks like we saw slightly more clicks to the website over the last seven days, but almost uh, 2,000, well, about 2,000 fewer impressions. So um, potentially there was fewer search volume, but we still were able to capture um, a little bit more traffic than usual. And our click through rate improved somewhat. Um, so that's a, a good sign, and it looks like our rankings have improved as well. So a lot of great data here. Um, another thing you could do is change this from queries to pages, and then drill down into the specific keywords that an individual page on your website might be ranking for. This is really cool for discovering new keywords that you might want to target with a new blog post or a new piece of content on your site that might search, uh, serve that query a little bit better. So that's the uh, performance report. Now the next main section is index coverage. and this is really the gold mine of information that you're going to want to get to. Um, this is the checklist of things that you should uh, try to resolve so that Google can more easily access content on your website, um, uh, index it, and uh, hopefully you'd see improved rankings and traffic as a result. So with this website, I can see that Google's found 110 different errors. And that's, that's quite a few. And I can see how that's trended over time. So is my website getting healthier or is it going in the wrong direction? Um, and just to give you a quick example, it's telling me that the URL we told Google to crawl is returning a soft 404 error. That means Google thinks the page is broken. 
and there's uh, many other issues that you'll see here. This is where a lot of people will get stuck. Um, a lot of this is uh, technical stuff that you might not be familiar with. If that's you, check out our blog post, A Beginner's Guide to Fixing Crawl Errors in Google Search Console. You just search for that in Google or follow the link that's in the uh, description of this video and that should help you out. We try to walk through each of these issues in plain English. Um, this report is breaking down issues pretty much by their severity. So you usually want to start with error, the error section, then move over to valid with warnings. Valid means everything's good here. Um, so you usually don't have to spend a lot of time in that section, but if you go to excluded, you might find some content that Google thinks you don't want it to index that you actually do. So that's still a great area to, to check out as well. The last section um, in Search Console is um, it's called Enhancements. Now you can see on this site there, there's no information listed. This is really meant to show you um, any times that Google is really adding some special features to your listings in search results. Um, you may be doing a, a search and see this big box at the top of search results. Um, it's like an instant answer. That's an example of uh, an enhancement. Um, or you might see a carousel of cards below a, a search result. That's another example. Um, at the moment, Google does not uh, include all enhancements that they offer in this section, but they are adding some over time. Um, if you want to see a list of what all those might potentially be, check out the search gallery um, in Google's developer guides. There's things like corporate contacts, job listings, carousels, um, site links, um, you know, the list goes on and on, and they're, they're adding new ones all the time. So eventually you should see some great data here that um, uh, might be useful. So make sure you go through the list of issues in Google Search Console, uh, pay attention to it, be aggressive with it. Um, fixing these things could have a huge impact. We've seen traffic skyrocket to websites after they've resolved a lot of the major issues that are listed in, in there. And this is usually a great starting point for any SEO project. So we definitely recommend that you check it out.